Hello and welcome to a new another gardening tips um, edition. For this one I'm going to chat about primulas. Now in front of us we've got this is primula candelabra and uh, I didn't even know about it myself until about three years ago and you know it, obviously it's going off as you can see but uh, it the flowers shoot up and then they would go up again into another bloom so one bloom then second bloom and then third bloom and if you're lucky fourth and fifth bloom if, if they really are well these were grown from seed last year harvested from plants that i bought from nottingham uh, market square and uh, as you can see these seed pods two or three weeks away from being able to harvest them here we've got Primula Viali. Now I've never grown this before. I've grown it from seed and these are some plugs that I got. Now, same again, I'm gonna harvest these in a few weeks, so I'm gonna chat again about them. And if you look here, you'll notice that basically, this, at soon you'll be able to split this into two separate plants. And that's the beauty of Primulas you know you can split them so not only can you harvest the seeds but you can also split them and obviously some little antivarium seeds there, seedlings there that managed to sort themselves out here's polyanthus now that, that's probably the one you'll know more than anyone and that again they're not ready for splitting but these were bought as a mother's day present last year and they're still looking good in fact you probably could split it you've got one there and then one with the flower head is there so it might be ready for splitting. Today, I'm going to go and find one of my Primula denticulata. Now, there's no flower on it because obviously it's a bit late now. But this is a Primula denticulata. And as you can see, there's one here and one there. So if I dig this out whilst holding the camera, try and dig a big enough hole around it. Right, there we go. Dug out. Not the easiest way of doing it, but holding one hand. I haven't got an assistant. Now, as you can see, moving some of that soil, but not all the soil because we don't we don't want to lose it. There you go. Now that you can easily see, there's two plants there. Now the thing to do, if I can do this without dropping my camera. In fact, I'll put the camera on the floor and I'll split them. So, gently, tease them apart. That's one, that's fine. There's another. Mmm. No. It has got a root on it, so it probably will grow. That one, perfect. That'll plant off. In fact, I can go back in the ground. Push permit in. This one, I'm going to plant it anyway. Right. Let's look for a better specimen because that specimen wasn't good enough. Hmm. There's a beauty. That's a beauty, that is. So, again, let me try and get him out without wrecking the plant. Use a spade if need be, depending on how your soil is. It's a good yank, it will come out. And again, let's try and pull these apart. So, we have one. Mm, maybe two there. Hmm. Hmm. 
Sometimes you'll find that, you know, you'll, you'll wreck them. I mean, them two, they aren't great. But we'll plant them back in, because I've got a space, and see how they grow. As you can see, that one plant, that one Primula denticulata, got one lovely decent root there, two with a decent root, two that are replanted, not great roots, may not even survive. And then one here with a little bit of a root. So one plant made three. Sometimes you'll be able to get four or five, you know, it's luck of the draw. And you'll find that you can do, not only can you do it with, um, Primulas, but you can do it with Carex, you can do it with Sedum at the right time of the year, even Brunera in the background. Splitting is great because when they're big like this, sometimes splitting is the best way because it revitalizes the plant. So, another day, I'll lift that out, dig out, dig the whole thing out, split it, put the one plant I want back in and then repot them up and I can have a, you know, you could sell them if you want to, if you was ever able to, or give them away to friends, or keep them as backups. Right, I'll just get these planted. nice and firmed in and you know you're obviously going to need to give them a bit of water unless it's wet you'll soon know if, if they look like they need watering look droopy give them some water but um if it's a if it's a wet time of the year and uh, it's a bit damp at the moment so you could probably leave it and you imagine doing you imagine 20 of these in your garden and converting them into 50 you know think of the money saved on bedding plants for next year and that's all for today. Thank you.